another world. A world of new realities. A world where anything can and probably will happen. A world not unlike your own, just different. Kevin Dyson is 43 years old and suffers from Down syndrome, a genetic condition in which the child receives an extra copy of chromosome 21. This condition affects about one in every thousand babies born in the UK. Kevin also suffers from diabetes. Kevin has not let his condition stop him doing what he enjoys. He is a talented and competent actor and has appeared in several theatre productions and also participated in a national advertising campaign highlighting the struggle that people with learning disabilities have in the workplace. It's hard to comprehend what the future holds for people with Down syndrome and this was something that Kevin's parents, Jack and Violet, had concerns about when they first found out about his Down syndrome. Doctor said he'd never walk, but I said he, if his bones were fit, he'll walk. And I used to spend hours and hours getting him on his feet. And his brothers and sisters used to think <laughs> that I was cruel, but it, it, they understood what I was doing. They realised now that being strict with him Paid off. There were also their own worries about other people's misconceptions towards Kevin and other prejudices they would have to face. They didn't really understand him. No. We've been down syndrome, we're different other kids, you know. So we had a bit of a hard time bringing him around, you know, bringing people around to our way of thinking. But fortunately, changing times and a better understanding of the condition means that these days these prejudices are few. They understand him more, a lot more. Well, he can make himself understood now. He lacks communication word-wise, but he can make people understand him. Today, there are many groups set up to give people with learning disabilities a better chance in life, giving them opportunities to work and perform. John Palmer is the Artistic Director at Full Body and the Voice and has worked there since 1998 directing work involving people with learning disabilities. I've known Kevin now for six years now, and it feels that we're always going further you know, and, and the great thing about a company like Full Body and the Voice is that there are no limits, you don't know where it will end. In 2005, Kevin also travelled to Tokyo to help celebrate Japan's Year of the Disabled. Here he performed ballet in the musical comedy Scene Changes. I like playing football and going to the gym. Louis, Louise, she was my dance teacher. Is school Julie. Uh, because I like him. Because of him, McKillock. He's a well known from Barnsley. Uh, Working with him and going uh, to Japan. Bah. Those who work and live with Kevin have noticed changes in Kevin's personality. The confidence he has gained from Full Body and the Voice has seen him take more responsibility in everyday tasks. He can say more words than he's ever done. But he's an actor more than anything, you know. Yeah, he does. He, does, he, can, show you, he can show you things and do things. I mean, his dancing is fantastic. He, he can do like a sign language of people understand what he's trying to communicate to them, to their questions. He's very confident going away on his own. So, you know, those kind of practical issues about looking after himself, being more independent, uh, are huge kind of developments. The joys and expectations people have had of Kevin have been evident throughout his life, not just in his physical achievements, but also those changes within himself. He has a confidence when he's performing, 
which I'm very jealous of, you know, that, that he's, he's very happy to go out on a stage and, and perform uh, stuff that I couldn't do. He seemed happy enough in whatever he does, you know, and if people respond to him, he's more than happy to be with them. Kevin continues to amaze people with what he achieves and the enjoyment he gets out of what other people take for granted always makes those around him proud to be a part of his life. He's a fantastic guy, always comes in with a smile on his face, enjoys everything that he does which is fantastic. He's always smiling, polite and bright when he comes with the dog. He's absolutely superb, he's one of the best people who do our work and support. <laughs> We all really enjoy having him with us at work, wearing green as a group. What will the future hold for Kevin? Who knows? But it's safe to say that he will always continue to follow his heart and put more effort into what he loves than most people ever will. Today Kevin could be performing on the stage at the National Theatre or uh, be in a prime time TV show. Kevin is someone to be admired by anyone who strives to make most of his or her life, whether you have a disability or not.